Hey everyone, this video will talk through how I wrapped a sheet of vinyl around my tumbler. Um, and it's easiest if you use a skinny tumbler, I'll tell you that. So my tumbler is a 20 ounce skinny from Stainless Steel Depot. I'm using the wet method, so I have um, a spray bottle with soap and water and my squeegee tool. If you don't know anything about the wet method, I will link a video you can watch in the description below. So what I did was I cut down my vinyl so it was closer to the size of my tumbler. You want it to be able to wrap more than around, you know, get a good like solid inch, inch or two um, of overlap. Um, but height wise, you know, you only need it to be the, the height of your tumbler. So I cut it down so I could use some of the excess. So what I'm going to do is line it up um, because of the pattern I chose with the horizontal lines, it's really hard to line it up perfectly. If you have a solid um, color or pattern that's not, you know, horizontal, um, it's a lot easier to match it up. So you want to make sure you spray down your tumbler first in your uh, vinyl before you stick it down. Um, and then it makes your vinyl removable, basically, um, until it dries. So I'm doing my best to wrap this tumbler so the edges meet up um, and you'll see it's really hard to do um, but that's okay I'll show you mine is an exact and I'll show you what I'm gonna do about it later um, but using the wet method allows me to remove this vinyl and get it to where I want so I start in the middle you could also start with the edge um, and roll it from there you kinda just need to figure out um, how you want to do it and then spray where they overlap because you don't want the the flap to stick um, down so again I'm just adjusting to try to get this to line up the best that I can these darn horizontal lines so then you'll take your squeegee um, and work out a bunch of the bubbles okay the wet method really helps um, but you do have to, to squeegee out all the water um, as you go. So in order to deal with this overlap, you need your X-Acto knife. So you can see they overlap about, I don't know, two inches. And what I'm going to do is, is take my knife. You really want to make sure you have a sharp knife. Um, the sharper the better. Um, and you'll see, I don't like using an X-Acto knife. Like, they scare me. Like, I'm going to slice my finger. So you'll see, I'm not the greatest <laughs> uh, with it, but basically start you're gonna cut straight down in the middle of where they overlap so I use these pink flowers to sort of guide my straight line and you have to press really hard because um, you need it to cut through both layers of the vinyl and all the way to you state your stainless steel cup so press really hard and go as straight as you can um, all the way down the cup So once you have it cut, you're going to remove that top flap. And you'll see here I missed a spot that I have to, to go back over because, again, I don't know, using the X-Acto knife is just not my strong suit. But um, this is also how I make a fabric tumbler if you um, are curious on how to do that. So here I just kind of go over it just to make sure I got all the pieces. So you lift off the top flap. And then you're going to lift back um, the piece that you have and remove the vinyl piece underneath it so that your vinyl no longer overlaps. So it'll just come right up. Of course, I need to, you know, go over some spots with my knife. You might have to as well. Or maybe, you know, you're better than I am. And it'll come right up. And now you have um, an exact seam for where your vinyl is going to meet each other. 
okay? You'll see how mine's not perfect, but you know, that's okay. So what you're going to do is you're going to work out all the water that you can, okay? And this does take a little bit, but you're just going to squeegee out as much water as you can. And you might want to dry with a paper towel um, as you go, but you'll see as you get the water out, all of the bubbles disappearing. So you'll see, it um, it does take some time and effort to get out the water, but for me, it's totally worth it because it allows me a little more flexibility when I'm putting on the vinyl. Um, again, you want to get as much water out as possible, and you'll truly, truly see all the bubbles disappearing. So despite our best efforts, sometimes we do have a stray bubble that you can sort of poke with your X-Acto knife um, and, and make it flat. Um, I didn't have very many, maybe like two, that I needed to do that for. Um, but again, the more you do, the better you get. And then once I use the X-Acto knife, they're all gone. So the next thing I'm gonna do, which you could probably avoid if you cut your vinyl you know more properly at the beginning is just trim the edges um, I'm going to show you how I make my crisp line edge here in just a second so I'm just getting as close as I can to the cup again you could avoid the step by cutting it down smaller from the beginning so you'll see all my bubbles are gone and I can work through with my uh, fingers if I need to but the uh, way that I get a nice crisp edge is with my cup edging tool. I'll link it below. It's from Wicked Shimmer Supply. And basically, it just has, you press down um, and press it down and against your tool so it will cut evenly all the way around. I definitely recommend one if you're going to use a lot of vinyl or fabric. These work great for fabric tumblers as well. So that's it. What I decided to do was put a strip of glitter washi tape. You could do regular glitter, vinyl design, whatever you want, or nothing over that seam. And then to finish up the cup, I'm just going to do a bunch of coats of bright tone to make it so I cannot feel this vinyl. Um, but that's it. It's easy. And then it's done.